Okay, good morning. So I realized yesterday that I may or may not have made sense to everybody when I went over the line by line and, you know, I was hopeful that I kind of thought, well, there hasn't been any questions. So I was hopeful you guys would ask questions and we would be in interactive if you didn't understand anything. But what I want you to know is today is inventory day. Today is the 23rd. All of the auto deliveries for your customers and your brand partners should have shipped. And so what Nerium has done, which is unbelievable, is they have given us a whole new reporting system, which pretty much helps you to not only go line by line because it goes line by line for you. So if you can see my um, <clears throat> computer, if you're on a computer and you can see what I'm showing you, what you want to do is when you get into your back office, you want to go straight to your report center. And um, once you get there, you have the ability to go to all of these different things, okay? So the first place that I go is my team, and that's pretty much your line by line, but we're also gonna go to your PC tracker, your three or free tracker, and this is how you're going to really diagnose and see where your business is at and do your inventory. So first you go into my team, and when you go in there, it's gonna give you a lot of information. These, these um, orange people right here, that means these are your personally sponsored, okay? And you can put them in any order you want. You can put them in order of their name, uh, if they're commission qualified, if they're auto delivery, if, you know, if they have an auto delivery, if they don't, if they're, where their uh, group qualifying volume is, and where their 60% cap is at, okay? Which is a really important part of the equation. We talked a little bit about that yesterday. You'll see where their current rank is and where their highest achieved rank is. So when you're looking at the numbers, you're saying to yourself, how can I help them get back to their highest achieved rank if they've fallen back? Or how can I get them to the next rank um, whatever they want to do, whoever, you know, whoever they are that they want to do. So I'll just do an example of my friend Dora, okay? So my friend Dora is, I see here that she's got her bottle, she's qualified, she's got personal qualifying volume of 280, so she's got consistent customers. She's got a, a group qualifying uh, total of 3247, of which 2632 is capped in one leg. So that means if I want to help her get to director, which is not so far away, it's only about 1,300 away, um, I want to try to have her personally sponsor people or uh, get more customers and help the people in her other two legs do the same thing. Not that I'm ignoring the leg that she's capped at, but um, if she wants to get to where she wants to go, she's got to personally sponsor and help those people in her other two legs. So this is where I can kind of diagnose what's going on. I see that she hasn't had any new brand partners, so it's time to get some new brand partners and some new PCs. And uh, we really have an opportunity here to not only get her uh, solid, which is senior director, which she is, but to get to director and stay there. And, and again, that's using the philosophy of what we've been talking about for the last you know, several months in helping everybody on your team get three or free qualified and helping them to do the same with their people and get new brand partners. One of the things that we've been talking about in this group mainly is doing the activities and all of us that are posting on the page that I can see, you know, we're doing a lot of great activities. And that is what resonates in these reports. You can, you can see your business when you do these reports. So this is your overall view of your team and you can do put it in any order that you want. If you wanna see you know, who's got the highest uh, group qualifying volume, you can change that so that um, you have to do it twice because it goes to the bottom and then back up to the top. So you can see where people are at and how far they are away from perhaps senior, senior brand partner. There's the, for instance, this person, Michelle, she has a lot of customers. And she has no brand partners, but if she had three brand partners, she would immediately go to senior brand partner. So my question to her uh, all the time is, hey, would you like to do that? Same with Michelle Crow. They, they, they have tons of customers. They're in the customer business, and I know that about them. So the idea here is to really get an overview line by line like we talked about yesterday. 
um, and really look at the people. Now, not everybody is going to want to do that, but there are people that you're going to look at and you're going to go, oh my gosh, Amber has all this volume. Where's her ADO? Let me see if I can give her a call and see if she's interested. So you have the ability to do that and you have the ability to call the leader of that person if there's a leader of that person to call them and say, hey, you might want to call so-and-so and see where they're at. Uh, the next, the next um, report is your brand partner ADO tracker. So your brand partner ADO tracker is significant because it shows you in these X's where they were last month, where they are this month. And so you don't have to go searching through your organization. Here it says this credit card was declined. Well, we know that lots of credit cards get declined. She had an order last month. This could be a big giant mistake. So this is a person that we want to call their sponsor and make sure that they know that the credit card's client show them these reports so they can do it themselves and see that, okay? And then these X's are people that, you know, haven't really gotten an ADO. Um, maybe they don't want one, but they're brand partners that, and it just, it, it's very clear here. So just based on these reports, you can do a whole lot for your business. You can, you can create a whole lot of synergy in your business. You know, um, some people that have 55 and they want to they want to be paid as a brand partner we know they need at least 80 in the auto delivery to be able to be paid um as a brand partner so you sometimes want to call up and say hey do you want to get another box of eht or whatever so you, this is a great great way to look at your business and see who's active and who wants to participate the next one is your pc auto delivery which is another one and i'm not quite sure um, why that is only coming up one, but, um, and then you go to my PCs. This isn't my report. This is one of my daughters. So these are her PCs and, um, nobody on her PCs is getting the product anymore. So th this is a list that she can look at and say, Oh, you know, I don't know why that is. I mean, they love this guy who loved the EHT. I know that for a fact. I'm not sure why he's not doing it. So if you have, um, people that are at zero and are not getting their shipment, you might want to give them a call and say, um, hey, are you interested? We have a new product. I'd love to get you started on our new product. Try that. Um, or these are people that if you haven't heard from them in a while, you might want to send them a note and basically say, you know, it's been a while since you've ordered. I, I don't know if you realize you have your own shopping cart. I don't know if you know that we've come out with a new product. Um, I don't know if you uh, have an interest. I'd love to um, appreciate you. And I'm having a party on March 5th. I'd love you to come. So there's a way for you to contact people and at least, you know, reconnect if you haven't. Here's your three or free track tracker. This is incredibly significant. You can put it in order of who's three or free qualified, who's not. And it basically tells you how many they brought in this month, how many they brought in last month you know, where they're at. And it's a really good report to sit here. This person brought in two. If we can get them three or free with one more, we can give a call to this person and basically help them to get three or free qualified this month. So there's, you know, lots of ways to help people. And if you have, um, if you, if you have people that are over their amount, that's okay. Because remember if, if somebody has nine, PCs, once they get to nine, they're at the very top of the comp plan, okay? So that's really, really important. Um, one of the things I was talking about with Robin earlier this morning was Nirium gives back. A lot of people don't realize also as brand partners and customers that, you know, not only brand partners can earn their own free product, but they're also earning Nirium gives back. And sometimes they don't even order an ADO thinking that they don't have any uh, customers. But I've had people that customers have rolled up to them that automatically made them three or free qualified. And so where you, you see that and where it's really important to tell your brand partners is, is you want to show them, hey, uh, always look at your NGB points just in case you might have some. My daughter here has 40 points, which I didn't even realize, and I don't think she realized either. So she has 40 points that she can get some free product, okay? And she may need more than that to get free product, but at least we know that's in her bank. So she gets free product there, and then she also 
gets free product over here, it will tell you what she could get this month and next month. Well, she has seven customers and none of them right now are getting the product. But if they did, any of them were resurrected today, she would start earning her next month's uh, free product. And you know, free product is free product. That's the way we utilize this business, which is so unique and so different from everybody else, is that we don't have to purchase our product. We get our free product if we, if we manage it correctly. Also in your ADO, every month, if you have a different amount of free product that you're getting, maybe last month you only had $80 in your ADO that, that you could get your free product. Well, sometimes you ha might have 120, so you always wanna look at an inventory and go down and look and see where you're at, not only with your NGV points, but also down here where it tells you. And then you can go into your managing of your ADO, click on your ADO, and you can change out your products for whatever you want. You don't have to stick with just whatever you've got before. You can change it out before the ADO ships to whatever you want. And it's awesome because that way you know, like for instance, I know I'm having a party on March 5th, and I know that I want to give out a ton of samples of the eye serum. And I want people sampling the eye serum. So what I've been ordering in the last couple of months is um, boxes of the uh, eye serum samples because I have um, the ability to do that because I get $270 a month in free product. I always want to make sure I'm getting the most amount of product I can possibly earn as a, as a brand partner. So, so basically when we were going line by line yesterday, that is the way that I've always looked at my business because I always want to be able to go in and specifically go to people that have um, an interest in, in taking their business to the next level. That's the question, right? So all of these reports, you guys, in your new custom reports will create information for you to do that very thing. And I really encourage you to not only do it yourself, but get your new brand partner to start looking at their business on the 23rd. And of course, I look at my business every day. It's my business, so that's important. But not everybody does. But this is a way to start learning uh, very simply and easy how to look at your business. And if you have you know, five brand partners or you have 10 brand partners or you have two brand partners, you can easily look at these reports and diagnose your issue immediately and then know, okay, I have five brand partners and three of them are getting an ADO and two of them aren't. Let me see if they're interested. If they're not, what does that mean? I need to go out and get new people. Okay, I need to go out myself. I, it starts with me. I got to do it. It's a business, okay? It's not always easy. It doesn't, they don't, people don't fall off the trees. I was talking to Robin, and I'm going to talk about it tomorrow, about other industries and what it takes to be in business as an independent contractor. And tomorrow, I'm going to share with you guys how, what it takes to actually be in real estate, how somebody gets involved in real estate and, and, and what the costs are involved in that without even selling a house. And it's very interesting to see the differences of businesses out there a, a, um, comparable to what we're doing, okay? Same, same ideas, a lot of the same premises, but it's all about you and what you want to do. So that's really where I wanted to go today in terms of inventory. Um, you know that in your, um, your business overview is where you also can look in your leader's dashboard and you can get an overview of exactly where your business drivers are, what you're doing. And, you know, it kind of tells you, you know, basically where you're at in your organization. So you can also see everybody's organization by putting their name right here and, and or clicking on their name right here so that you can easily get an overview and say, well, you know, this person hasn't sponsored anybody since January. Uh, who's the person in January that was sponsored into their group? How about us trying to help a brand new person see where they're up to, see what they're thinking? And so this is a way that you can really do a great overview on your business. This is your sponsor tree, another way of looking at your business and really seeing where people are at in your tree. And this is, this is the only thing that we had when we first got started. So I, you know, I love looking at my business this way. You can do the reports in alphabetical order. You can do the reports by current rank. You can do the reports by group, uh, 
qualifying volume. There's many ways for you to look at your business, okay? And so all of these things are things that, you know, if you want to take an hour um, and look at your business, it's really telling and it also helps you to, to drive the drivers of how to build your business. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open it up to everybody for questions and I really encourage you, if you do have questions, to please, I know everybody uh, might have a good sense of this on this call, and I don't want to be redundant, but I want to know how we can help you as a group. So, I'm opening it up. I have a question. Hey. Okay. Hi, Sandy. Hey, let that other person go first. Okay. Who, else, who, who was it? I don't it, know. It was Breeze. Hi, Breeze. Well, go ahead. Hello, well, Bruce. Oh, hi, was, Bruce. It was just a quick question about the NGV, uh, Annie. Yeah. <clears throat> Is there a certain, I mean, I may know because I just look in there and I just kind of figure out expiration, but is there, when you see <clears throat> you have like 270 available points, is there a strategy or a time frame when you should use it before you lose it? Sometimes you just yep. totally forget really about the expiration. Yeah, six months. Do, or do you do it before the 23rd? Like before you do it today? No, the great thing is, is Breeze, that you get six months and it does give you a calculator on that. Um, it gives you how many days you have left to get your, to get, to use your NGB, but it's six months. And so a lot of people, you know, they like to accumulate um, their points and you can accumulate it as big as you want and then order whatever it is you need and you have a one time shipping of 995 so instead of ordering every month from your NGB you might want to accumulate that decide what you're looking to get you know what you think is the best for your customers like in, in December I ordered a lot of the um, eye serums because I wanted to give them as gifts you know so so do you so is it better to use it before you have to click on the green but and then look at okay I see expiration oh sheesh that was that's next week you know kind of like that where you see the preferred customer of the brand partner where it says availability and how many points but <clears throat> is that the thought is okay it's good till March you know uh, whatever on the yeah, date well, the, the orange button will tell you when your points will expire it'll come up how many points will expire in the next 30 days mm -hmm. so at that point if you've had them in there for six months it'll it'll warn you that you have 30 days to to order it and that and that's what you need to do but they give you six months to hold it in there once they get in there so concentrate on the orange button when it expires so that you just, if you're going to yeah, need to get samples, really that's where. Free. You don't want to lose free money for sure. For sure, yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Sandy. <laughs> Are you there, Sandy? Do you have a question? Okay. Anybody else have a question on inventory or anything at all? Hello. Oh, there you are, Sandy. Go ahead. Hello. Hi. Uh, hi. I don't know where she went. Anybody else have a question or a comment? I am. Um, couple of things. Number one, um, there is this on our free product. You're now being charged tax because um, kind of free for us. And then the other thing was on my on my leader dashboard. Not all my brand partners are listed. Should I talk to you about it later? Yeah, I don't know why that is. I'll have to look at it. Okay, fine. Okay, bye. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Anybody else? Okay, so today is inventory day, and today we are um, going through our list, and all of you on here, obviously, you're very, uh, you feel comfortable, and that makes me really happy that you are going to utilize these lists for yourself and for your brand partners. You know, sit down with them and show them the easy way that it works, and let's make some little things happen today. We've got, you know, um, till the 28th to really help somebody rank advance or get solidified in the rank that they're at so they can rank advance the next month. We've got a lot of activity going on, I see on the page. And the other thing that Robert and I were talking about is the people that are doing, and I actually talked to Randy about this this morning as well, the people that are doing uh, market parties uh, and, and really 
being consistent with that are growing. You know, um, this is something that Randy was like, well, I was going to wait to do a market party. You know, you don't have to wait. You don't need permission to do a market party. You don't need permission to do a real results party. If you want to do one, do one. And if you have one or two people coming, that's a success. That's wonderful. And if you don't have anybody coming but brand partners, that's success too because you're training and you're coming together and you're helping one another. And, and I always go back to it. It's the energy that you bring to the table that's going to create the synergy in your group and what you're trying to build. So, um, you know, think of it like, like this, if you want to learn how to speak in front of people, you know, then, then do a market party yourself and, and put the slides up and you know enough, you're all on this call, you know how to train, you know how to talk to people. And, you know, Robert is great uh, doing a market party. We did one the other night. We hadn't done one in quite a while. We went to Ventura and we both did uh, each half of the market party. There was a nice group in the room, several guests, and we had a really great time. And last night, you know, he went to Toastmasters. And, and I, I always chuckle when he, when he says, I'm going to Toastmasters because I think he's such a great speaker. And he goes, you know, he came home last night from Toastmasters and he said, that was really fun. You know, they did this like um, where they, they put everybody's name in a hat and they just took a name out and you, you kind of got um, something you had to talk about right off the cuff. You know, you didn't know in advance. And um, he was challenged to talk about something he knew nothing about, and he only had two minutes. You had to have, uh, you had to tell your story in two minutes. And, you know, he, he came in second, and he was shocked that he came in second because, you know, the topic that they picked or what he picked or how, what, whatever happened, you know, it was off the cuff. It was, he didn't know, he didn't really know what he was going to talk about. So, you know, challenge yourself, challenge yourself to speak, challenge yourself to do better. This is what's been great about this whole experience for Robert and I is it's really challenged us to be the leaders that we want to become and uh, grow. So I challenge all of you to do the same thing. And I know that when you do that um, tonight, you know, we're so excited. Caroline is going to be in Los Angeles doing the presentation with Robert. And I've never seen her do a presentation except on Zoom. And I love her energy. So if you're in Southern California in Los Angeles and you can get out to the Viziris tonight, I think it's going to be just awesome just to be able to see them both in action. And, um, and uh, you know, come out and support, you know. So, um that's our day, you guys. Let's go out and make it a great one. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you, Annie. Thank you, Annie. Thank you, Annie. Thank you, Annie. Thanks, Annie. Thanks, Thank Annie. Annie. Thanks, Annie. Thank you, Annie. Bye, Francois from France. <laughs> Francois. Bye.